Scraps. It's going to be a quick video on how you can find more fonts to add to your design space and create a very special look in anything that you do. I did a search on thin fonts. Yes, thin, like as in skinny. And I came up with a whole lot of nothing. So I went to one of my more trusted places for fonts, and that would be Font Space. When I got here, I thought, okay, let's try this. So I went to their search, and I typed in the word thin. Hit the Enter button, and I got results for quite a few. Some not so thin, but with a fairly thin outline. And others, like Time Burner, that just, they looked like they might work as far as writing fonts in um, design space. I kept looking. I kind of like this one too. Looks too much like my own handwriting though, which I'm avoiding. And I went all the way. I just kept looking just to get an idea because I'm kind of a, a fontaholic and I'll download anything that looks cool. And I began to run into fights, fonts that had bold and light fonts. And the light fonts seem pretty slender like yellow peas. That, that's not a light font, but again, it's very slender. I got down to Party at Gatsby's right here on my screen, and I decided I really liked that one. So I downloaded it to my computer. I clicked on Download. It did its little thing into my download file, because I'm using a Mac if you, if you didn't notice that. And from there, it's a piece of cake. I closed out a Safari and I go to my download file. Look at all my stuff on my desktop. It's pathetic. And my download file is Party at Gatsby's, the very last thing. On my MacBook, I go to my font book and I very easily, and I cannot, I apologize, remember how to do this on a Windows computer drag my font to all fonts in my font book and it's already there so it's going to tell me it's already there and right here I actually have it installed twice so if I make it a little bit bigger I've got a lot of fonts on my computer what I like to do is when I am in my font application or my font program, I would I like to take a screen capture of the actual text. So on the Mac, it's Shift Command Four, and then you drag the window. It takes a picture, and I have my uh, screen capture app set up to just simply put it on my desktop, which is why I've got quite a few files there right now. I can do a lot with that. I actually have a setup, an Evernote notebook for just fonts. That way I can reference my fonts easily and, and know what they're going to look like when I use them. Let's take a little trip into Design Space. Now I'm into Cricut Design Space. I've logged into my account. As you can see by my name is over here. And I'm going to create a new project. So I simply click on create a new project and I go to the design space and as soon as it gets completely opened, I can tell it's trying, I'm going to add some text. Click on add text and I'm going to type my message. and deselect it. I found this seems to work just a little better for me on my Mac. Reselect it, go to edit, click on the down arrow, and go to my font. Should be here. It's party, so it would be P. I know I didn't type party, I guess. There it is. Click on that. And now I can actually use my tools 
in Cricut Design Space. I can separate my letters out just a bit if I want to, bring them back together. I can space lines, I can size the font, add different point value, um, separate out the letters, which I'll be doing a tutorial about creating your own phrasing. Um, I can do whatever I want to right there. I'm going to close that window since I've got the font now on my screen and I'm going to come to my layers window. I don't want to cut this font. It's, it's just simply too thin for that. So I click on the scissors icon. Now I'm going to select writing. Looks like the pen. I don't care about the color. It, if I'm trying to match something I might. I usually just go with the default when I'm testing something. So it's the armadillo is default. And you can see that now I'm going to be able to write my font in Design Space. I click on the Cricut Go, and I'm not connected to my machine, but it will create the file. I can move it wherever I choose on my mat. I have my piece of paper down at this end, I bring it down at this end, I have it up here, and I click on Go. and it's not going to connect because I am not connected to my machine. I will, however, show you a picture of that font written. I think it looks amazing, and I hope you enjoy it too. Until next time.